Hello, hello, and welcome back for what I hope is Ren's bloody shrieking death as my shuffle mode stroll across this wickedly haunted yet surprisingly romantic island continues in perfidious Pete plays Oxenfree. Now, you're probably saying, hey, Pete, a chick just tossed herself out of a window. What the hell is romantic about that? How could you possibly be feeling amorous at this point? And I can admit, you know, Clarissa often herself is not an immediate turn on, but you gotta delve a little deeper on this one. You gotta think the long, you gotta think the long thoughts, the deep thoughts. Because Clarissa, theoretically taking her own life, she may or may not be dead. I mean, there's no corpse, so the jury's still out on that one. But theoretically, Clarissa taking her own life forces me to ponder my own mortality, which, of course, in turn forces me to think about the ways I might shuffle off this mortal coil and what I might be doing when the Reaper eventually comes to call. And all things considered, if I'm never going to make it off this island alive, which the more time I spend here, the more likely it seems I won't actually be making it off the island alive, if I'm never making it off, the way I'd like to go is in the middle of a writhing, toe-curling at orgasm. I mean, that's what I would like to be doing when Grim Johnny comes to cut me down. I mean, I'd also like to gaze upon Ren's silent mouth at least once before I die, and probably the only way that's ever going to happen is if I find Ren's corpse. And at this point, this has become not a rescue mission, but a recovery mission, because I have to assume that Ren is dead. If know-it-all self-assured Clarissa was driven to hang herself or leap out a third-story window or whatever it was she did to kill herself, maybe? But if, if she was driven to suicide, there's no way that Ren hasn't offed himself already just out of sheer terror. I mean, there's no way he's still alive. It's not going to happen. And, uh, you know, I, I do think it bears mentioning here, Jonas, just uh, before we go try and find Ren's body, that writhing, toe-curling orgasm thing, Jonas, I mean, that, that could be happening literally right now. Why do you always turn away from me, Jonas? Why? Why, when I try to get close to you, do you turn away from me? The orgasm thing could be happening right now, man. And I'm not trying to pressure you, Jonas, because I know you're, you're sort of slow playing this. That's fine. I'm just, uh, just saying, man, the offer's on the table. All you gotta do is, uh, all you gotta do is give me the nod or the look or just get naked, whatever. Anyway, I'm thinking Ren is over in this direction. We don't want to go to Epiphany Field because that's where we came from. Is there a path? No. There, okay, so this goes nowhere. A military museum is coming soon. Why is there a military museum coming soon? I mean, isn't this basically one giant military museum? Also, why would they build a military museum on an army base? That doesn't make any kind of sense. I don't want the radio. Uh, let's look at our map. So we can only go back to Epiphany Field. I must have, okay, we must have taken a wrong turn. We're gonna have to do a little backtracking here. That's fine. I, you know, Jonas, again, right here on the, the cool stone of this path, baby. Writhing orgasms. It could be ours right now. All right, fine, whatever. You don't want to make my toes curl up? Uh, it's fine. I'm sure somebody will. I mean, maybe, you know what? Maybe Nona's into chicks. At sort of any port in a storm at this point. I just don't want to die unloved on this island, Jonas, and I'm not getting any kind of play out of you. Nona didn't really seem to be into Ren at all, so, uh, you know, I mean, maybe I've got a chance with Nona. There's no way I'm fucking Ren, by the way. I'd rather die a virgin. That's just, that's not going to happen. So if we look at our map here. Okay, we got to go up these stairs then. I didn't even notice this last time. He volunteered... What does this say? He volunteered for submarine... Why is there a giant tiger? Well, fuck, no wonder the submarine sunk. They had a goddamn tiger on board. Oh, we brought a man-eating tiger on our submarine. You know, in case the Germans tried a boarding action, we figured it'd be great to have a tiger on our side to sort of keep the ship safe. It's no wonder the place sunk. You had a man-eating tiger on board. Do you really think the crew was going to be concerned about, you know, making sure all the hatches were closed and that the pressure was good and the tubes were cleared and whatnot with a fucking tiger prowling the ship? No, they were worried about not getting eaten by a tiger. Goddamn, no wonder it went down with all hands. It's like the stupidest military decision of all time. All right, well, we actually, we've been here. How did we come here and not wind up where Ren was? Which, okay, we can, okay, we can go towards where Ren is, I guess. We've got locked doors over here and a creepy mystery hallway. Okay, uh, uh, Jonas, again, one, you know, every time we come by here, I'm just going to remind you, toe curling. Uh, he keeps turning away. Uh, you know, I really think Jonas, maybe, maybe he's just not feeling this. Maybe, maybe the whole step-sibling thing is just, uh, 
Maybe it's too taboo for him. Can we open this? Actually, weren't we in here earlier with some kind of weird radio block, right? What do we got on the radio? No, that's the declaration of war at the Pearl Harbor thing again. We actually already heard that. So I guess we're gonna have to go this way then if we want to try and rescue Ren. Can we do anything with this light? Nope. Alright, well, I guess... Wait, this goes back to the Milner outpost. I was just here. I'm very confused as to how the specifics of the geography of this haunted island work. Have we got some kind of mystery curse that's like turning us back on our own pathway? Are we in a Zelda-style maze? Is this the Tolgi Wood? What the shit is going on here? Okay, we were here and we were up in that tower, but we were down. Okay, so I guess what we got to do is go up and around then. Okay. This is not the Tolgi Wood. We don't have to go north, south, east, west, north, south, east, west, over and over until we find our way out. I'm gonna keep up there, Jonas. Man, you haven't said anything in a while either, Jonas. If my uh, constant and very blatant and overt offers of sexual activity sort of creeped you out a little bit, is it because I looked at your penis? Is that what it is? I mean, it was a nice looking penis, don't get me wrong. I, I liked what I saw. It was, uh, you know, uh, nine out of 10 would look again. I cannot open this door, all right. I hope I didn't creep you out too much. You wanna, you want me to take my pants off? We could be even. You show me yours, I'll show you mine kind of thing. All right then. So, ah, here we go, relay point. This is where we'll find Ren's broken, shattered, miserable, destroyed body. Assuming I can... Store. Okay, so it's gonna have to be a radio thing then? This says relay point. You got the creepy country music thing going again, all right. There's gotta be something that will open this gate. I wonder, could this be one of them dead booby traps? Um, that doesn't fill me with reassurance that Bugs Bunny is music on a booby trap while I try and figure out how to get through here. Also, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Is there anything else on the old radio here? Light me up. What's the frequency, Kenneth? Yeah, okay, so we got the country vi- Oh, here we go. What is he saying? It doesn't even sound like English. I'm not sure what language that is. I don't think it was English. Anything else? All right, there's nothing on the dial. How are we supposed to... I mean, this says we can go left here, but I am not seeing an abundance of left available. Have we been down here? Actually, this is where we came from. We have to go down and around the tower? Is that what we need to do? Ah, uh, the geography. All right, I'm tired of mysterious fucking MC Escher-esque bending back on itself a Mobius strip geography here. This is getting a little eerie. Also, the fact that Jonas hasn't spoken to me in quite some time has me more than a little irritated. He's given me the cold shoulder here, and this does not really sort of bode well for me, uh, you know, getting him to maybe give me a little warmer shoulder. Or for me to, you know, have a writhing orgasm while grasping him by the shoulders. It's sort of what I'm hoping for. He's got, I mean, some well-muscled shoulders there, Jonas. What can I say? You turned me on, man. Is it wrong that you turned me on? I don't necessarily think it's wrong. Just because our parents are doing the nasty doesn't mean we can't, uh, little illicit teenage sex. Don't be such a prude, Jonas. So is this the way, then? No, because this is, this is right back where we were. All right, game. I've, uh, I'm, I've had enough of your nonsense here. This clearly says there's a way for us to get to Relay Point, but I'm, you know what? I'm not buying it. I don't think we can go to Relay Point this way. There's got to be another way. We've been everywhere. There's no way to get over there. There was like a brick wall or something in the road that we could not get past. There was some manner of obstacle that prevented us from going past. What if we go this way? All right, sign, what do we got? Harden Tower. All right, well, let's go to Harden Tower then. Wait, this is Harden Tower and we were already there. Or is that the comm tower? Maybe that's the comm tower. Well, I was talking about the Tolgi Woods. I mean, I guess we'll go check it out because it seems like I don't, there's no way for us to get to Ren from here. 
It very clearly seems like the only way to get across there is via that rope bridge, but we don't really have... All right, fine. We're going to Toei Woods. What could possibly go wrong in a mysterious Togi wood? I mean, there's no way we'll run into a frumious bandersnatch. Beware, the claws that, or the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. We should shun the bandersnatch, really. Jonas, I, um, here we go, some dialogue. Just how much woods there were. This <sighs> is like a, like a genuine forest. Want to turn, turn back? around? I mean, no, I'm not I'm really that dedicated to saving like, Ren, Jonas. It's pretty sprawling, that's all. I'm just glad you're talking to us again. Speaking yeah. of sprawling... I've always liked that word. Sprawling. I'd like to lie down sure, legs a-sprawl you know, for you, Jonas, and we, we could make the beast with two backs. Oh, I know we where we're do. going, yeah, baby. of course. It's just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Over the yeah, river and through the song, wood the into horse, my vagina. The That's where I would sleigh. like you to go, Jonas. Through the white and whatever snow. I think. I'll, I'll, I'll be yeah, your horse, baby. I'll, you scenario, can ride me. I'll ride you. Steed who will lead us merrily to grandmother's house. And grandmother being writhing orgasm, writhing orgasm, Jonas. Being Ren, right? Or Ren, sure. You yeah. know, this whole place really creepily reminds me. Thanks of for park, bringing Ren into my woods, sexual metaphors, guess, Jonas. By the way, live. it's really kind of felt just like this. Oh yeah, yeah? what was that one called? I'm feigning interest to try and draw you out, Jonas, I'm so that we might eventually make the beast with two letters. letters. Had fallen off, so it spelled P pork. My dad was really happy to move here. You know, he said the schools were safer, less knife things per capita. Is that why you're such a good-looking rebel, Jonas? Because you went to a tough school. Whatever's happening right now. But, uh, your town you know, sounds horrible. Everything's got something. This yeah, is out of the ordinary. We once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, you say well, that so nonchalantly, Alex. Fair, that's actually that pretty fucking scary. horrible. Yeah, Santa Claus was kidnapping kids. Uh, they found an entire basement full of small children's bodies. It was a goddamn horror show of all catastrophes. Who knows what he'd been doing with them in the weeks before they starved to death in his basement. But, uh, well, we all just sort of laughed it off for the next year. Hey, new Santa who uh, had a real beard. So it all worked out in the end. I mean, apart from the many, many horrible deaths. Other than that, you know, things went pretty well for it. The new Santa with the real beard. I mean, uh, you know, yeah, that's like some uh, Miracle on 34th Street shit. I always feel like I need to wait for Jonas, despite the fact that... Why do, why do you walk so... I'm, a, I'm guessing this is probably too big to jump, right? Nope. Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? I don't there's know, another, being a lunatic. Like way down here. Hey, I'm in very... <laughs> Jonas, I do like a million jumping jacks a day. This is I also do a lot of Kegel oh, exercises, Jonas, so, uh, you know, you could, uh, take it again, take advantage of that. I need to help you up. All right, really, I was just looking for an excuse to touch you, Jonas, but thanks for breaking my heart. So, wait a minute, if we go down, what's down? There actually is no down? Uh, there is no down. So what's... Now I'm curious what's down there. If there is no down, why can we climb? All right. Jump. Do we have to catch the edge every time? Also, that really looks like it would fucking hurt a lot. If you leap across a giant cavern like that and slam into the far side chest first, you're not just going to grab the edge reliably like that. You're going to knock the wind out of yourself. You're going to fall down into this just bottomless mist-filled cavern. That's going to have a tragic and horrible ending. These two are both dead already. Maybe everybody on this island is a ghost at this point. So what's down here? Anything? Oh, this looks horrific. Let's go check this out. Well, I mean, it's sort of romantic. Got a log to sit on here, Jonas. Uh, I'm gonna maybe take a quiet minute or two and just sort of enjoy the scenery in each other's company. Perhaps uh, each other's genitals. Still no. All right, he's still turning away. You know, I'm laying it on too thick, maybe. All right, I'm going to ease off on the whole sex thing, Jonas. I'm, I, can, I can tell it's making you pensive. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to win your heart. You're going to come around. I just, I can feel it. We're destined to be together, Jonas. What's up here? A roosting tree. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next, Is it this tree that's 400 years old? Island, an old bush. Um, yeah, okay. no, you're right. Who cares? History, am I right? I'm not yep. making fun. It's just, it's a. Treat. Yeah, well, maybe if you were paying more attention to history, we'd got a better score on that test we just took, and you wouldn't have got possessed by ghost zombies from a drowned submarine. Um, oh, we're supposed to use our radio here. What are we supposed to be listening to? 
At this point, I'm kind of listening for Ren's sh shrieks because I assume... There we go. This sounds hellish. Let's tune into this. I mean, that sounds like the shrieks of the dam from the depths of hell itself. What was the history channel? Wasn't it in the hundreds? Yeah, again, past the roaring of the demons of the 666 legions of hell. Get some classical music. Wait, wasn't the history channel like when all the way? When he was stationed Here we go. at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. Wow, that's After the fort fantastic closed in information. 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected. And in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Ridge Edwards stand. Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species. Most okay, well, I don't really care about the local birds. I'm actually going to completely backtrack because I think maybe I was on the right track in the first place. It seems like the other way may be the way to get to Wren based on the fact that Jonas was disturbed by our jump. And this seems boring as shit. I mean, this is basically just like a quaint woodland path. So, uh, I'm gonna go with the Robert Frost method here, and when two roads diverge in a yellow wood, you take the road less traveled, because that's made all the difference. I'm picking on Robert Frost. Actually, I should not, uh, should, shouldn't be dismissive of Robert Frost. I actually quite like Robert Frost a great deal. He's a fantastically underrated poet. And no, don't be pulling that. Oh, yeah, you know, Stephanie Meyer put a Robert Frost poem at the opening of Twilight. Don't throw that in our face there. Just because Stephanie Meyer tore apart a classic poem by Robert Frost and put it in front of Twilight doesn't make Robert Frost responsible for that. He's been dead. He had no say in that. You gotta blame the estate of Robert Frost. He was long dead when Stephanie Meyer decided to use fire and ice in front of Twilight. So don't try and pin that shit on Robert Frost. Guy wrote Mending Wall, man. Or Birches. Ah, uh, one could do worse than to become a swinger of Birches. Alright, so which... Where does this go? Oh, wait. Here's... Like, wait. Where does this go? Now I'm just, like, wandering around exploring. This is a great idea, by the way. If you're ever trapped on a haunted hell island where the demons and legions of hell speak to you through a radio, the best strategy is to sort of just fucking blunder around. There's literally nothing down here. What if we get out our radio? Anything? Okay, well, we've got... 103.5 Anomaly. So what the hell is this? So this will be old hat to me. William Marshall, a local park ranger working in Edwards Forest, killed himself today after what his wife describes as a years-long battle with depression. His body Aha! Was found so the bird drawing guy murdered himself. So what did we get out of this? Somebody else here to watch after the grounds, Bill? I was at Park Warden in Grants Pass, so... So then message repeats. All right. Well, I mean, shh, that was interesting. So the bird guy they were telling us about who wandered around the forest merrily drawing birds killed himself. Suicide seems to be a pretty, like... I don't know. Uh, it, it seems to be like epidemic on this island. I don't, don't really know how to feel about this. Also, I can't help but wonder that we still have yet to find Ren. We've basically just been wandering the shit around. I feel, I feel, would, would feel at least mildly more comfortable if I had it, some sort of objective game. I mean, you told me to save Ren, but then you gave me no direct way to actually save the Ren. Two wee woods and a bridge stand. Are we any closer to Ren? No, we're near the campgrounds. Maybe we'll bump into Nona. So, it looks like both of those places exit to the same spot, and that it's just different paths to the same location. Alright, so our jumping and bravery got us exactly fuck all. Other than it would it saved us some time, really. That's the only... Wait, is this the bridge that goes um, to where Ren is? Why is there a cable car here? That's Couldn't actually a good question, just Jonas. Like, just like a normal bridge? With yeah, her. it doesn't really look safe, does it? No, it doesn't it look safe at all. Less than welcoming. Or, at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or uh, even on. Maybe, maybe there's, there's another, another way? I mean, there I'm in no to rush be. to save Ren. I mean, it's the woods. There's no way to begin with. We make our own. Okay. Except for the well, giant pig. Yeah, Jonas, except for when there's a chasm. 
All right. Well, let's just see if we got it. And speaking of chasm, today, Jonas, I mean, I know I said I was going to try and not lay it on so puppets. thick, but uh, again, my chasm is still aching for you. If you would uh, you want to do a little chasmic exploring, opportunities are available, Jonas. That's all I'm saying. Opportunities are available. So can we leap to this rock? Yes. And across to here. Okay. So every one of these little stones is an anomaly then. I'm going to guess. Yep. There we go. 99.9. .9. If indeed he find fault with anything or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. Less perchance God has said okay. for this very thing. Easy. Was that it? If indeed he find fault with anything or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. The avid and the prudent discussing. Oh, sure. check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. I wouldn't call it a cemetery Jesus. so much as a collection a of cemetery. graves. It's four people. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. What, it's just four dead people? I mean, you say the island's depressing enough. Arguably, there's at least one dead person on this island that we brought with us. Also, I can't help but think that there were, what, how many people on this island initially? Five? So if we dig four graves, that means only one person is getting off this island. <sighs> okay, well, I don't want to have to dig four graves. But I do want, I desperately want one of those graves to be Rhymes. I mean, if I'm going to have to dig four graves, the first grave I want to dig better goddamn well belong to Rhyme. That goes nowhere. Where does this go? I mean, this seems to go up. Our map does not say we can go up. It says we can go left or we could go right. There is, I mean, up is not, up is not a choice. Here's an abandoned hut of some variety. Oh, good. Let's go in here and have some kind of horrific avenge. Seems like maybe this could power the cable car. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, why would, why would they lock it? it? Right? Maybe the guy in charge of the forest closet forgot. Or maybe, maybe he hung himself or inside. He's dead. Oh, just Jonas is reading my mind. Maybe. You know what? You're right, Jonas. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he jumped out of a third floor window. Huh? Maybe you think, you think of that? You want to say, you know, let's take, you want to have a, like a who can depress who more contest, Jonas? Maybe he got his guts ripped out and he's in here mewling for his mother as he screams and bleeds on the floor. Maybe Ren is inside and that's why it's unlocked. That's the most horrifying thought. What if Ren's in here? There's a circuit breaker. Ooh, Being terrorized on an island TV. by unseen forces really makes you miss television. No, well, no, it really doesn't, power actually. Working, you can catch up on the soaps. Why do you gotta be such a dismissive dick, Jonas? I keep I keep I trying to romance breaker. you, but you Wait, know what, like Jonas? You're kind of turning me off beware lately. Beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Everything um, I say, you just have to immediately so shit all over me. Terrific. You're my supervisor. You'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? I'd also, see just if you want to supervise my vagina. Way, just saying, still happens, out there. You know. That's very sweet, <sighs> really. But I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay. In fact, I'm not that kind it's of sister at all. I'm the kind of sister you should make hot, sweaty teenage love to. That's the kind of sister I am. Uh, what did you oh, flip? great. Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe it was labeled wrong. The lamps flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? Jonas, are you incapable of experiential learning? It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too. Yeah, every right? single red light yeah, on this really. island that we've interacted with has opened a, a portal to hell or got you possessed by evil Spock or something bad has happened right. in 10 out of 10 cases, this is Jonas. making my skin crawl. No, we're going to have to go talk to the evil lamp. So just, it, it's too late now. The evil it's, lamp is all that's on the menu. I can't believe this. It's locked now. Of course it's it okay. is. We'll just... There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. Yeah, we'll go talk to the evil lamp, and you'll get possessed by a demon, and then turn into evil Spock, and still refuse to have sex with me. Uh, any ideas? Despite the fact that you're yeah, evil and the goatee, which should, you know, thing. sort of dis know incline you to that kind of thing. Or something yeah, yeah, okay. That, so maybe know. Jonas isn't Hop completely oblivious. About our bad luck. No, I'm just going to get out the radio and interact with the lamp. Uh, this lamp is my only friend. All right, lamp, what do you got for me? Here we go. Oh, no, we were in the butter zone for a minute. There it is. 
Okay, so a horrible red-faced demonic monster from beyond the veil has that's, peeked into us. That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah. I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Yeah, I was, they were going for a jump scare there. It's fine. We're, we're okay. Looks like the lights are back on. Did the cable car start up? Maybe? Alright. Let's check out the TV. Does it work now? Can't even interact with it. And the door has mysteriously... I hate this island so much. Uh, Jonas, why did I have to come here? I mean, it's Ren's fault. It, all of this is... is the, I'm laying it squarely at Ren's uh, feet. Was that there before? No, it absolutely was not. I don't think so. Anyway, I blame I blame Ren squarely for everything that has happened. Uh, might as well take Alex, her. are you all right? Just a chair, it's, man. Uh, just a chair, so. Well, it's making me feel like bugs are on my skin. So, come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to blaming Ren for all this. What we should have just done, we should have gone for the more conventional huh? teenage illicit romance. It's yeah, definitely not what I expected. Not exactly what I expected. I was hoping um, that you and I that? would already be having a sweaty love already, but yeah. What do I mean? What I'm, do you mean? What does it mean? I'm just saying this. This isn't anybody's fault, you know. It I, well, just happened. Stuff happened. Yeah, you're right. Stuff Whatever happens. Stuff happens, except for the right. you and me Stuff having sex. Stuff. Like That's the thing that really doesn't seem to be happening, Jonas. I still blame Ren. It's Ren's fault. What I should have done is just gotten you really drunk, and we could have drone out into the country somewhere, and with a some lame excuse like, "Hey, let's go look at the stars," or "It's a great night." You guys want to go like hang out in a weird field or something. And instead of being smart and doing that, going for the more just a sort of stereotypical teenage experience, come no, no, Barracuda. let's come to the abandoned Barracuda's island because come. that's the place where I can best romance you. It says you, man. Let's just get on the thing. Come on. I got this. We got, it's fine. What could possibly go wrong? We fall to our Praise death. The Lord. Okay, well, it is working. Let's head to the campground then, and that's probably where we're going to ramp this one up. Also, I, I really feel like things are becoming increasingly more strained between Jonas and I. I'm thinking the likelihood of, uh, of some sweet, sweet love is just it's getting more and more remote. Maybe I should start focusing my intentions on Nona, because I'll be damned if I'm not getting laid somewhere on this island. This is a thing that I, Perfidious Pete, know. Some, in every horror movie, and every experience like this, there's always at least one couple who has sex. And I'm gonna be one half of that couple. Whether it's with Jonas, whether it's with Nona, I don't care. Well, at this point, it could be with Clarissa's corpse. That's as long as it's not fucking Ren. Because it won't be Ren, I'll die first. Oh, eh, you know what I'm used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island, I mean... I, I guess? Mean, yeah. Well, I don't know about a lot, but a few times. Yeah, Why did he come here specifically? Cool, like in the summer or even in the spring? You got the park, you got the main street shops. Yeah, I'm never coming yeah, back well, ever again. After tonight, douse it in gasoline and light a match. I am never coming back here again. Nope. Well, I mean, it'll be a fun place to reminisce about if you and I do finally get down and make this the place where we first made sweet, sweet love. I mean, maybe in our fading years after we've been happily married for 20, 30 yeah, you know, maybe for our 50th wedding anniversary, we come back to rekindle that old flame of the first time we got all the way down. What do you say, Jonas? What do you say? I say I'm going to wrap this episode up because it's running a little long. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support does really mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to watch us continue to explore the mysteries of this island, including where the shit Ren's corpse is, you might consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of Oxen Free every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right now, however, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.